Hi everyone and welcome to Cloud Bootcamp. This is the lecture number three in Terraform for Cloud Engineer series. And in this video, we are going to see some basic details about Terraform and we'll try to create our first resource in Terraform as such. And as you know, um, we'll be using Google Cloud to create resources and we'll try to see uh, how we can create Google Cloud storage bucket using Terraform as such. So for creating resource using Terraform first, we need to install Terraform on our local machine, which we have already done. If you want to see how we can install Terraform in Windows, you can refer this video. And if you're using Linux or any other machine, you can refer uh, this video. So installation part, I'm not going to cover over here because it's already done. And basically next thing is like we need to create a folder and create a form configuration file um, the configuration file can be main.tf and we also need to create a provider block as such a provider file in our case it's google cloud so we will be having a file called as provider.tf then important part is we need to set up a credentials and then we can only execute the command. So we'll also see how we can set up those credentials so that Terraform can interact with GCP to create the resources. And we'll follow all these steps one by one so that you get an idea uh, how to do this integration and how you can create your first resource using Terraform uh, in Google Cloud. So first, let me go to my folder where I'll be placing my configuration file. If I open this and I'll create a folder over here that Terraform underscore code, you can give any name. That's completely fine. So I will just go inside this folder and I'll open CMD so that we can see whether our Terraform is installed or not. If I just run this command Terraform hyphen hyphen version, it will let us know whether the Terraform is installed or not. So if you see already Terraform is installed and this is the version. So we are quite good over here. And what I'll do is I will just open my VS code uh, because I'll be using VS code for my Terraform coding as such and I can even open VS code from here so let me type code space dot and it will VS code in this directory And um, once the VS code is opened, right, we will be creating Terraform configuration file as such. I don't know why it's taking long. Yeah, here we go. The VS code is opening now with the same directory. So basically, once you start creating Terraform configuration file, right, you need to make sure the extension of those files. Okay, I'll just say keep waiting. Okay, perfect. So what I was saying is when you create configuration file, you need to make sure always the extension of the configuration file is .tf. Like, let's say, suppose if I create a new file wherein I'll be putting down my resources, like main.tf. So once I enter tf, you see Terraform symbol over here. That is automatically coming. And we have given the extension. It's quite good. And now we also need to create the provider block as we discussed so we can even create the provider block in main.tf but let's use another file provider.tf so you might be having a question right like uh, what do you mean by provider as such so if you remember 
provider is nothing but, in our case, it's Google Cloud. And let's say suppose you are using, if you are using AWS, then uh, you'll be using AWS. Uh, sorry, you'll be creating resources in AWS. So, at that time, the provider will be AWS. So, on which platform you have to create resources, right? You need to declare that provider block um, in Terraform. So, how we can declare a provider block? That's again a next question, right? And that's quite simple. If we just go to Google and search for uh, GCP Terraform provider, let's see what comes. And if I just open this, and go down. So this is an example of provider configuration block, uh, which looks like, right, I can even copy this, or I can even type if you need, but yeah, I've just copied it. So in our case, provider is Google. Uh, project is, we need to take it from the console. If I go right here, you can even see the project ID over here, but uh, the best place is like, always go over here and uh, copy the project ID from here. So in your case, you need to put your project ID. Yeah. And region is, let's go with Singapore, maybe I'll just check the region name. I'll just try to copy the region name from there. I think it's, it's Asia dash Southeast one, but the maybe come from. If I just go over here, oh, what's the region for Singapore? Okay, Asia dash Southeast one. Let me go over here. So now next is like, um, we need to give the credentials basically for the authentication purpose so that Terraform can create resources in uh, Google Cloud. So here, maybe you, maybe a question in your mind, like why uh, we are using Terraform as such, right? So we are using Terraform to create the resources uh, using the configuration file instead of using the cloud console. So this is the cloud console. You can even do the manual and uh, deployment, but industries, they are not adopting this method. They are adopting the method of deploying the resources or creating the resources using Terraform. So just to make it more simple now, suppose if you want to create resources using the cloud console, right? Like this. So you'll need a kind of username uh, or password. Like in my case, I have logged in using my Gmail ID and password. So that's the authentication if you're using uh, the Google Cloud Console for creating the resources. And now let's take the case for Terraform. So Terraform will use uh, some kind of authentication with Google Cloud, right? So for that, we need credentials so that Terraform can interact with Google Cloud. And what are those credentials? How you can create that? You need to go to service account or we need service account for that. So let me just hit on back. So in short, Terraform to interact with Google Cloud, we need a service account. So if I go to IAM, and if, if, if you're directly jumping on this video, I'll encourage you to refer the IAN video so that you get the complete understanding. And I'll just search for service accounts. So basically, like, I'll create a service account with necessary permissions so that uh, we don't have any issues in creating the resources. Because service account should have permissions to create resources. Like let's say, suppose if you are creating Google Cloud Storage, uh, your service account should have the permission to create the Google Cloud Storage bucket as such. And for the time being, I'll give editor a role. So let me click on create service account. 
So I'll say Terraform hyphen GCP iPhone service account essay. I'll just click on create and continue. I'll be giving the role from the IAM. I'm just hitting done for the time being. It says service account is created and let me just refresh it again. So it says GCP Terraform GCP essay. So this is the one I'll just copy it. I'll go to IAM and I'll assign an editor role because I don't want any issues uh, while creating resource. But in industry, you'll have granular roles or least privileges as such. So if I just copy the service account and give a editor role. So if you remember, this is a primitive role as such. Hit on save. Once this is done, I need to download the keys, which I mentioned, which will be using it for authentication as such. And if I just go to service accounts and if I open this service account which we have created so here you see keys permissions etc we can just cross verify the permissions if you see this was our this is the editor quite good and if I go to key I will need to create or add a new key and I'll download the JSON file as such. So if I click on add key, create a new key, let's keep it as JSON. Let's see my downloads. So here it is downloading. If you see, this is the JSON file. And if I just open this real quick. I'll just copy this to my folder, to my configuration file folder. If I go over here, Terraform, just paste it. I'll rename it like key.json just for simplicity. So, oops, I've clicked on something else. So this is the JSON key, uh, if you could see. And now I can use the credential block in my code and uh, give this JSON key as authentication over there. So I'll simply go to my VS code again. Okay, I'll just close this. I'll go over here and add an argument of credentials and in double quotes it should be key dot json so i'm in the same directory that's why i'm just mentioning key dot json over there right if you could see this key dot json is also reflecting over here which we have copied in the terraform code folder uh we have mentioned the project and we have also created the provider mentioned the region what else so basically we have created folder, the configuration file uh, is still pending, which is this. We haven't have, we haven't mentioned anything in over here. Credentials are now in place uh, and we need to create a resource and uh, we are interested in creating a Google Cloud storage bucket and let's see the Terraform documentation, uh, like how you can create a Google Cloud storage. And if I go over here, Google Cloud Storage, hit on enter. And let's see for Google Storage. Okay, here we have. And if you see the example usage, uh, we can you can use anyone, but uh, I'll just use this one. And uh, it's quite simple if you see. But important point is you should always refer the argument reference so name is required which is this 
and the location is required. These are the mandatory uh, arguments. If I go over here, you can just paste it. So this is the resource block, uh, as you could see, and this is what we are creating is Google Cloud Storage Bucket. And we can give the name to the resource block. So I'll just say GCS first. So this is not the name for uh, your bucket. This is the name for this resource block, the local name for this resource block. Yeah. Let's give a name. Name should be unique across the globe. A hyphen cloud hyphen boot camp dash one. I hope this should be okay. And let's take the region as Asia dash southeast one. I'll just remove this for a moment. And yeah, I think we are good. So what we have done, uh, we have also written down the code for creating Google storage bucket. And we have also given few of the required argument like name, location. These are the two required. If you don't give this also, that's fine, but I've kept it for now. You have also given a kind of unique name and the location where we need to create the bucket. So I think this should be enough as such. And now in the next video, we'll see how we can um, just run those commands like Terraform init, Terraform plan, and apply. So thank you so much for watching this video.